A Stuart Models triple expansion engine part 3, the live steam test run using my Stuart 504 boiler. The first thing to do is to light the gas burner. It's a long gas pipe so it takes a while for the gas to get through but eventually it does light. What I need to do now is position the gas burner underneath the boiler because there's no mounting as I haven't made a base for it yet. The thread on the steam tap on the engine is a quarter by 32 threads per inch so I've made an adapter. This is a thread adapter for quarter by 32 threads per inch to 5 16 by 32 threads per inch. What I might end up doing is changing this globe valve for a commercial one from CME Engineering, but I think I'll retain the nice hand wheel. The valve is fine, I just don't like the idea of having to use an adapter. And from a steam consumption point of view, I do feel that a quarter inch thread with a very small hole in the middle may not pass enough steam to successfully operate the engine. Time to fill this brand new displacement lubricator. And once again there was nothing wrong with the displacement lubricator that was on the engine, except it wasn't a Stuart one. And that's the only reason I changed it. In this clip I'm filling the lubricator using superheater steam oil. This is proper steam cylinder oil. It is not motor oil, it is not machine oil, and it is not general lubricating oil. It's very thick and gloopy, and I get this stuff from a company called Hallett Oils. It's very high grade, very good quality stuff. I also buy the lubricating oil from Hallett Oils as well. I've put the web address for Hallett Oils on screen, so if you want to buy some, that's the place to go. In this clip it's a bit of an oiling frenzy. I'm oiling every possible moving part of this engine. This is lubricating oil of course, not steam oil. Steam oil is a lot thicker and that's what went in the displacement lubricator. Time now to warm up the engine and see how it goes on. I do love the sound of a 504 boiler. It's like a gurgling noise in the background all the time. Probably because the Babcock tubes slung underneath the boiler are acting as thermal siphons. The first steam to hit the engine turns to water, so I'm having to turn it over a few times to clear this water. And oily water goes everywhere. In any case, in no time at all the engine starts to run as the water clears and gets blown to exhaust. It seems to run very well indeed on steam. It's a bit looser than it was when I first bought it because I've run it quite a few times on compressed air just to run it in properly. You can't beat a steam test for showing up any leaks and as you can see there's a bit of a leak from around the high pressure cylinder oiler but this is nothing. There's also a very slight weep from one of the bolts on the high pressure cylinder and surprisingly one of the bolts on the steam chest for the low pressure cylinder. Don't worry, I'm going to stop talking very shortly and let you see and hear the sound of the engine. One thing is apparent, the high pressure cylinder gland needs tightening up a little bit. You can see this very clearly because it's running in slow motion. I can't really say anymore, this engine is wonderful. Ronnie Mall, who built it really does know how to build steam engines. In the following clips you'll see it running in forward and reverse and I show that yes it notches up as well. Nothing much seemed to happen when I ran it on compressed air and opened the drain cocks on the low pressure cylinder, so now I'm going to try it under steam. And when I open the drain cock on the low pressure cylinder, as you can clearly see it spews forth much steam and water. And so does the medium pressure cylinder, a bit more steam and water, and the high pressure cylinder covers both me and the camera lens with oily water. It's definitely time for me to stop talking. Thanks for watching so far and I hope you're finding it very well entertaining. Stay well and thanks for watching.
please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.